Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So in this one here, I wanted to talk about the Rick and Michonne show because we actually have confirmation now that they are done filming. Like this show is now officially done. And um, yeah, I want to get some thoughts on that. So before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my Walking Dead content like this. And if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, definitely go do so. My, my channel name is at Appetite for the Dead. I'll be live there tomorrow to discuss Fear the Walking Dead. And uh, yeah, we'll get we'll give some more thoughts on some of the other stuff that's happening in the Walking Dead universe. But yeah, we got we got word yesterday and maybe or maybe the day before or something that uh, the Walking Dead Summit, I guess, is what the title is or it's the working title anyways, has officially I mean, it's done like they, they, they wrapped up filming and the series is going to be premiering in 2024. So we're just sort of now just having to wait until then, which is insane because it's May 20th and I don't see this show airing in January. If anything, it's going to be a February release, but they might even hold off on it until like April. So like, are we going to have to wait 11 more months or is it going to be nine more months, eight more months, 10 more months? I don't know, but it's, it's going to be a really long wait. The good thing about that, though, is that they are actually done and they have wrapped up these six episodes here. So um, you know, th they could release teasers, trailers, you know, Comic-Con, I expect, since it is in two months, basically today, we are likely going to be getting a teaser trailer for Comic-Con. So I think that that's definitely going to be a lot of fun. And I am really interested overall in what's happening with this show. Like, Dead City is likely getting a season two. We'll probably learn if it's renewal at Comic-Con. Daryl Dixon is apparently already filming a season two. So, you know, I like... It's not too hard for me to believe that the Daryl Dixon show and Dead City is, you know, getting these or getting multiple seasons. Like, to me, that makes a lot of sense because I think you can probably do five or six seasons. Like, if you were to tell me that Dead City and the Daryl Dixon show are going to get four to five seasons each, maybe six. Um, yeah, like I wouldn't I wouldn't think anything of it. Like, I think that's probably what they're shooting for is like around four to five seasons of each show. So to me, learning that it's going to be getting a season two, I think that just makes a lot of sense. Like, yeah, like, it, yeah, makes perfect sense. Right. But I think for the for the Walking Dead, Rick and Michonne, I think this is where I'm really just I'm trying to grasp. Like, are we going to be getting a season two? What's happening here with this show? The reason I say that is because there was some stuff like obviously with this show. Compared to the other two shows, there was just so much stuff like just showing up on Twitter constantly of them filming and we'd see a bunch of stuff of of Rick wearing certain things or Michonne wearing certain things and it sort of is very spoilery and you're sort of wondering, well, what's happening here? Like what's happening with the story? Like this doesn't really make too much sense. And, you know, we're trying to put everything together and based off of everything that I've sort of seen anyways, it doesn't seem like this is going to be something that wraps up in one season. Like it doesn't look like there's going to be something that is very, I guess, satisfying in terms of like this reunion and stuff that happens at, in, in like the final episode or something. I know Norman Reedus was on set and he posted that like he posted a, a shot of him with Andrew Lincoln and they were on set for like the final day of filming or something. So to me, I, I'm just thinking that he was there just to see the final day of, of filming. Like, I really don't think it was anything more than that because no one else was there, right? And to me, if you're going to have Rick, if these six episodes are the end, like if this is the end of Rick's story, then what is the only character he, he's going to re reunite with is just Michonne and, and Daryl? Like there's been no word out there of like Kaylee Fleming or any of the other actors and stuff, you know, being there. So to me, it's just one of those things where I'm like, well, I think he was just there to, to see the last day of filming. Like I, I really do think it's likely what it was. And I also believe it more so when I think about the fact that, well, I mean, the Daryl Dixon show is literally filming season two and they're still in France. And I do believe Carol's going to be a part of season two, at least that's that's sort of what I've been thinking just based off of some of the stuff that Norman Reedus has been saying about like, you know, Carol's story is not over and there's still stuff there for Carol and Daryl. So to me, I'm just looking at it as like, yeah, it makes no sense whatsoever for Daryl to be on the Rick show. And I know a lot of people got excited about that. And I think a lot of people are really wanting that. I just don't really see it. And based off of some of the stuff that's been coming out, I'm not going to get into it because it's spoilery, but some people have been saying, well, maybe they filmed things out of order. Maybe, but we've also learned a couple of weeks ago that they just received the scripts for the final episode. So I'm thinking that, well, if what I saw was not the final episode, there was something similar. But based off of just sort of what's been out there, 
I don't think it's that crazy to, to think that where they're going here, at least it seems like for the final episode, I think it's going to end in like a cliffhanger of sorts. And I do think there's a lot more to the CRM story. So as of now, just based off of everything I've been seeing, I really do believe there's going to be a season two. Like, I, I would be shocked if it was just six episodes. I think there's too big of a story here. There is way too much stuff here with the CRM. I think that there's a lot more that you can tell. And again, like they filmed for three months. That's the thing. You got to remember, they filmed for literally just three months. It didn't take that long at all. So, you know, if if this is a show, say the second season airs in 2025, like they have so much free time now. Like they have, you know, their, their schedules are, I'm sure, cleared or I'm sure they have a bunch of stuff that they're doing, but they don't got to do anything Walking Dead related until like what, next year in February, say if they film a season two, if they're sticking to the same schedule or, or like this very strict schedule sort of thing. So to me, it's not that big of a deal to sort of do each season. I think they really want to tell the story properly and you know to everyone and I'm, i mean like almost everyone like for the most part there's there's a majority of people i'd say that really do believe that six episodes isn't enough and i really do believe that like i believe six episodes isn't enough to perfectly tell this story i don't even believe 12 episodes is i think 18 episodes you know i think you could probably tell a pretty good story there i think that if we got three seasons of the rick and michonne show each season being six episodes each, I think that can perfectly really honestly like tell the story of of everything here. Like the first season, we can get into some really cool stuff with the plot, some cool stuff with Jadis and the CRM with Major General Beale. You know, there could be some really cool stuff there. And then season two can maybe get into some really bigger things and really honestly make the villain seem like they're going to win. And then I think in the third season is where you sort of wrap some stuff up and at that point, we can have other reunions too, right? Like Morgan could be on this show. Madison could be on this show. Uh, you know, by the end, we can have Judith there. There could be more interactions with some of our characters, maybe going back to Alexandria, the Commonwealth, and sort of dealing with the CRM in that way. Like, I think th you can really tell a perfect story there with three seasons. And I think that makes a lot of sense, right? Like three seasons, six episodes each. I think it could perfectly tell the story. Like honestly, so much better than three movies could. So that's what I'm overall hoping for. I don't know if we're going to get that, but that's what I'm really hoping for. And so I, I think for, for this show to get a second season, I don't think is too unbelievable at this point. Just based off of some of the stuff with filming... And I mean, there's been there's been no word of of any of the other actors or any sort of reunion happening at all. Like, yeah, Norman Reedus was there. But again, I really do believe he was there just to see the end of filming. Like, I don't think it was anything more than that. As for some predictions on when this show's likely going to be coming out, I do think based off of, you know, just the rest of the year. I think, like, obviously Dead City is going to be premiering in June, just next month, and then it's going to end around, like, July or something like that. And then the only other two pieces of content that, you know, have to air at that point for the rest of the year is the last half of Fear the Walking Dead Season 8 and The Daryl Dixon Show. I think they're likely going to end this year with The Daryl Dixon Show. I think it's going to end really, really strong, and I think 2023 will just be a really solid year for Walking Dead content. I think that in August, like end of August, Fear the Walking Dead will pick up for six weeks until like late September or something like that, early October. And then that's when I think the Daryl Dixon show is going to premiere. It's going to be like October 6th or something. And that'll go until like early November. And then I think that's just sort of when everything will end. And then we'll get probably a full-fledged trailer at that point in November for the Rick and Michonne show teasing that for like a February release and then we'll sort of just have the winter months to, to wait again and then this show will premiere probably in February and end in like March or maybe it premieres in March and ends in April something like that and then afterwards I think we'll get Dead City season two followed by maybe the Daryl Dixon show and that's where it's going to be really interesting you know 2024 we're going to have three shows like the Rick and Michonne show Daryl Dixon and Dead City. What's happening where, right? Like, I really do wonder, like, sort of how they're going to handle all of that. They might just save the Daryl Dixon show until, like, next fall or, like, the fall of 2024, like, for the second season. So it'll probably be one of those things where maybe, you know, the Rick and Michonne show airs in March or April of 2024. Dead City airs in June. And then October is the Daryl Dixon show. 
but there could be some stuff in between, like stuff with Tales of the Walking Dead Season 2. There might be a lot more just other projects going on, because it's hard for me to believe that they only are just going to be airing just that, because they usually have a bunch more stuff. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but that just seems to be where everything is going right now. For the next two years, or at least a year and a half to two years for sure, we're going to have a lot of solid content coming out, so I'm definitely really hyped for all of that. So yeah, anyways, I'll leave it here. Post all your thoughts down below. The Rick and Michonne show, hopefully the first season, it has officially wrapped up filming. So that's all done now. Now we're just going to await footage. And that's kind of the exciting part is like they're done filming. So now they can actually edit stuff and then properly like market this thing and promote it everywhere. Release trailers, teasers, character portraits, all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm very excited. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Post all your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.